10, some potentially life-saving technology helping police respond to schools in a crisis. It's getting a big infusion of money from the state, and that will help make more schools safer. Bruce Harrison explains how it works. Sheboygan police adopted the maps a year ago, and it's used them in minor incidents at schools. The officers could immediately pull up the app on their phone and see where they were in the school and know right where to respond. Critical Response Group is the company behind the maps. They look like this, a school on a grid like you'd see in the game Battleship. Maps. I just picked first floor, here it is. And then what you're seeing there, there's four first responders, two first responders, here's a single person out there. But I can actually see where my resources are. I can click on them, I can text them, I can call them. Joseph Hansen represents CRG in the Midwest. They've mapped more than 400 schools in Wisconsin. The maps, available through a smartphone app, are free for law enforcement. I hate that we have to talk about this for schools, for anywhere in particular, but we have to talk about it. And so. Here we are. Those 400 schools paid out of pocket. CRG went to lawmakers to get help for schools, especially those that may have trouble paying. Now the state is offering $2 million in grants. West Dallas West Milwaukee School District is among many interested in the mapping program and hopes to apply for funding. According to CRG, it costs schools on average $3,000 to $3,500 to map their facilities. An annual fee for annual updates, $500. CRG will train law enforcement in its technology. Paper maps, updated and reliable regardless of a battery, are provided too. School districts, law enforcement who may not be across this tech yet, what would your message to them be? Sometimes we don't really understand what, what's being um, offered or talked about. So talk, talk, really touch base and talk to those that are using the technology um, so you can get their um, version of, of what its advantages are. Reporting in Milwaukee, Bruce Harrison, TMJ4 News.